And so again, when you think about the things that, the negative side of what you do, because in every business there's gonna be, you know, some things, some accidents or whatever, but when you think about comparing that percentage to what you do every day, all day long, just in our, our area, that speaks volumes of your, your commitment and your dedication to keeping our students safe every day. Look, our goal is zero accidents. Mm -hmm. One accident is too many. Mm -hmm. um, but putting it in perspective, when you operate that big a system, yeah. something is going to happen. And, and frankly, it's not that we cause the accidents. In many cases, I'm always surprised that we're driving a 40-foot long yellow school bus and somebody manages not to see it or to, to rear-end us, which happens quite a bit. Yeah. Um, it is, you know, safety is paramount. The things happen, and then I think back to the point you were making, it's how we react. Yeah. Did we do the right thing? Mm -hmm. You know, when we look back, did we, could we have done something different not to have caused the accident, to make ourselves seen so that we weren't hit? You know, how do we react? Do we train? Uh, all that's part of what we do each and every time. Right, and you never do what I said. I'm like, wow, there's a lot of buses. You have 700 buses, and yet you have maybe one accident here and there. You never come back with that kind of comment when you are involved in an accident or whatever. You always, oh, what can we do better? What really happened here? Are the children okay? That's your first concern. You never say, well, you know what? That's not bad since we have 700 buses out here. I've never heard anybody no. say that. And so that's why I say your, the integrity and the excellence that you all have, and even though my children never had to ride the bus, a lot of our friends and family members do and so we we count on you to get them there on time and to bring them home safely into school safely and you've done that um, I mean the number is crazy how often that happens more so than not well and, and Lord I think it's important to put in perspective so we've got a thousand people here in Shelby County those are your neighbors mm -hmm. your aunts your uncles brothers sisters and we're transporting their children as well their grandchildren mm -hmm. etc so you know we're part of the community so it is absolutely incumbent that we do the right thing and safety is our very first value.